this sultry night in the deserts of Egypt, a sinister wind blows. The ancient pyramids, symbols of a shining past, now sit by a new pyramid, symbol of a dark future. Your Majesty, everything is going according to plan. The world believes I discovered the remains of the creature who took Cleopatra's life. Now they will believe I have discovered the ancient queen's true descendant and rightful heir. <laughs> and when they realize it's you, they're going to love you all over again. As I do. I love you, 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 I love you. They're gonna love me all right. Ooh, I'm gonna knock them dead. Spy Group, file number Pancake Special 9, Horizontal Omega 7, codename Queen of Denial. The Maxi Bar, an over-the-top personality parlor, hard to find, and even harder to get into. Agent number one and agent number two fill out the agency's new death and dismemberment insurance policy for high-risk, undercover employees. Yeah, next question. Uh, do you willfully place yourself in potentially dangerous situations? Yeah, that's our job. Okay, next question. Fill in the blank. Yeah? To me, a black widow spider is A, a lovely pet. Yeah? B, a curious toy. Yeah? C, an example of a potentially dangerous situation that should be avoided. Okay, I don't want to do this. Why? It's forcing me to think. Explain. It's like when you're standing on a cliff. If you start thinking about falling, next thing you know, you're obsessed with falling. That's vertigo. No, that's thinking. And in situations like that, thinking can send you plummeting to your death. So, thinking puts you in danger? Yes. You're an insane person. Hey, boys. Hey, hey Mac. Mac. The agents are joined by Mac, a down-and-dirty debutante on a decadent detour. Tough night. Weird night. I think I just saw Shania Twain and Mariah Carey doing jello shots out of Cher's belly button. Mm. At least I hope it was Cher's belly button. Uh. The usual? Anything that doesn't involve using Cher as a shot glass. Did I? Okay, two shots. Hold Cher. The agents receive an IntelliJet conference signal on their combination DVD-123 micro laptop. It's Helena Troy. Espionage diva extraordinaire. We're not done with the new insurance policies, boss. Well, you better hurry. Your next mission could be downright deadly. I'm faxing you an anonymous tip that I need your boys to check out. Anonymous tip? It has something to do with the pricey A-list benefit in Egypt tomorrow night. Who's throwing the party? Diggs Biggerton. You mean the Brainiac slash Bone Hunter? The DNA expert slash Archaeogenesis. Whatever. The Brit slash guy who dug up the snake that killed Cleopatra. He now claims to have linked blood from the tooth of that snake to the only living descendant of Cleopatra. So, what's the assignment? Biggerton's using this benefit as a splashy PR extravaganza to reveal his neo-Cleo to the public. With the anonymous tip, I received two $50,000 Ultra VIP tickets. Oh, someone really wants us at that party. So, what's the assignment? The assignment is to make an appearance at the most exclusive party in the world tonight. We're live from the most exclusive party in the world tonight. I'm here on the red carpet in my new Dolce & Gabbana gown. While you sit at home in the underpants, you wrestle from an old lady doing a Kmart blue light special. Am I wrong? Ah, you poor slob. Mom! I know. Joan is here with Alyssa Milano and Jack Eston. Mom, it's your daughter, Melissa. You? Oh. This is Diggs Biggerton, the DNA genius. Gina Davis! Where is that bitch? Big night, huh, Mr. Briggerton? Yes, it is, Alyssa. It's Melissa. Oh, well, yes, it is. Not, not only do we find out who's our new queen of the Nile, but all the proceeds of tonight's event will benefit my latest project. Which is? Oh, yet to be revealed, darling. Yet to be revealed. Hey. You know, this whole thing could be a setup. Hi! Hey! How are you? Angelina. No, it's not a setup. Huh? Anonymous tip, mysterious tickets, nothing to go on. I'm just saying, something to think about. Hey, how are you? Hi. No, it's something we shouldn't think about. Matter attention, please. Now, we all know why we're here, don't we? Yes, we do. Because a tiny speck of blood from the tooth of this mummified snake has provided us with the only living descendant of Cleopatra. Ladies and gentlemen, the heir to the Nile is... Hold on to your drinks. Disco Diva Champagne du Jour! Champagne du Jour? Oh, she's She's old, but uh, I do it. <laughs> the new queen of the Nile is a 70s disco star. <laughs> Champagne du Jour. Who? Exactly.
exactly. Shocked. Well, so was I. When I was flipping channels trying to find my ex-lover Rick James on VH1's Behind the Music and accidentally landed on the Discovery Channel. There's Mr. Biggerton holding that mummy snake and talking right to me through that TV. I called him up and said, tell my ancient secret to the world. Tell them that I, Champagne du Jour, am queen of the Nile. That's right. And in 24 hours, Egypt's Minister of Sand is going to sign an oil over to Champagne as a symbolic gesture of respect. Just oh, wow. Thank you for more. Yeah. I love you. I love you too, baby. I remember you. Thank you. It's good to be back in the spotlight. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Could this be any weirder? Beware. <coughs> Mongoose number one. And mongoose number two must be unaffected by the cobra's jive hassle, or they shall lie beneath the sand for all time. What? Who are you? Call me <coughs> Old Giza. I'll do it. Oh, it just got weirder. Well, if it isn't the famous agent number one and agent number two, I'm so honored to have such famous spies at my coming out party. You know us? Not as well as I'd like to. Join me for a drink in my private lounge. Back at the barge. Five minutes. Hmm. Are you thinking what I, you know, I'm just noticing that, you know... Yeah, I know. There's no one here. Don't say it. Okay. Okay, see, it doesn't even matter if you say it or not. You think it's a setup, I'm thinking it's a setup, and that's not good. Just don't think about it. It's too late. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, boys, this champagne goes right to your head. <laughs> Diggs. Yes? Feed this crocodile child to my future luggage.